What's up guys? Today we're gonna learn how to create a branch, switch branches, and delete a branch using the command line interface. Before we jump into this video, if it helps you, make sure you hit that like button. And if you like the content that I'm creating on the channel and you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well. Let's go ahead and jump into the video. Alright guys, so I've pulled down my personal site repo so we can work on this and we can look on GitHub to see that there is only one branch right now. So if we come over here, you'll see, yes, there's only one branch. So I've got this pulled down onto my desktop and what we're going to do is we're going to CD into this and we're going to create a new branch and then we're going to push that branch to GitHub. So let's open up the terminal real quick. And let's CD into that folder. So I'm going to go to the desktop and then into that folder. All right. So to create a new branch, we're going to type in git checkout dash B. And then we're going to name the branch. So uh, say we were going to add a new feature. So we want to do this on a branch. Uh, I'll just say uh, something like that. All right. Now go ahead and hit enter. So now we have switched to a new branch. So uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. If we type in git branch, you can see these are the two branches that we now have. So you have uh, the master branch, which you saw here, and then you have the uh, feet name or feature name, whatever you want to say there, uh, that we just created. So if we were to refresh this, you're not going to see any change here because we did not um, push that yet. So let's come back over here. One thing that you can do is uh, type, now that we've created that, you can type in git checkout and uh, switch to different branches. So now I've just switched to the uh, branch master. So let's type in git branch again. And now you'll see that I'm on master. So let's go ahead and push this new branch that we created to GitHub. So I'm going to go uh, get checkout again and then go type in the uh, branch name. All right. Now you can see we are back to the featured name. So I'm going to clear this so we can go ahead and type in some more stuff here. So to push this, we're going to write git push origin. And then we're going to type in the name of the branch. So it's feature name. Go ahead and push that. So right now it's pushing. Uh, OK, let's come back over here and refresh this page. And now you can see we have another branch. So this is the featured name branch. And this is the master branch. So that's really all we need to do to create a branch and push that to GitHub. So now we can work on the master branch to continue doing whatever we need to do there. Or we can work on the feature name branch to do whatever we were going to do there, whether it's make an update, fix some bugs, whatever the case is. Uh, and then eventually you will can merge those or, you know, you'll, you'll you would have a pull request and whatnot. So anyways, well, we're not going over that in this video, but uh, that that's pretty much what you would do. You can also delete branches if you want. Um, so let's go ahead and let's actually delete this branch um, because let's say maybe we, we don't need this. So let's see, I'm going to say git branch. Okay, let's see. Let's do git branch dash d and then i'm just gonna write just like that so you cannot delete that because it's checked out right now so let's go to the other uh master branch so we're gonna get checkout master okay then i'm gonna run that same command again get branch dash d and then the name so we deleted the branch all right so now that we have deleted the branch, we are going to uh, delete this on GitHub. So to actually delete the branch on GitHub, we're going to write uh, git push origin. And then you're going to write a colon. 
and then the branch name that we had. Okay, so now let's come back over here to GitHub and refresh this. And now you can see we only have one branch again. All right, guys, that's it for this video. We've successfully created a branch, switched branches, deleted branches, and we've also pushed all of those things to GitHub when we created it and when we deleted it. So that's gonna be it for today. Uh, next week, I think what I wanna do is go over how to create a branch, make some changes on that branch, and then merge it with the master. So I'm looking forward to that one, and I will catch you guys in the next one.